Hello and welcome to my painting video. In this video I'll be painting an orc boy. Way back, about 11 years ago, I started with this hobby. My first army was orcs for Warhammer 40k. It didn't take much convincing after seeing orcs with machine guns riding motorcycles. This is the color scheme I used way back, but because I lost the original recipe I tried to recreate it. I was especially interested how to incorporate the new contrast paints into this color scheme. This color scheme is actually based on the 5th edition Orc Codex cover, and my army was of course a speed freak army, so a lot of red was used. Let me show you how I did this. I was looking forward to test out the contrast paint Orc Flash as a base. I of course primed the model using Wraithbone. For the next step I use Scorpion Green, which is an old Citadel paint. I think its equivalent is called Moot Green. I use this slightly watered down and in two layers. The first highlight is a mix of two parts Scorpion Green and one part White Scar. Try to make this a thicker highlight. The final highlight is one part Scorpion Green and one part White Scar. Use this on the tips of the muscles and the face. My old orcs all had a dusty green skin color and I think this brighter version is a lot better. I think this will look nicely on the tabletop from a distance. Now I'll just need to repaint all my old models. We all know that the red ones go faster. So I'll be painting his pants and several metal areas with the aptly named Evil Sun Scarlet. This looks extremely bright, so I'll be washing everything with Keraburg Crimson. This will give the red a nice deep color. Now I go back with Evil Sun Scarlet to bring back some of that brightness. Don't forget to water down this paint so it will blend in more with the previous wash. The highlight is Wild Rider Red. Notice that on the metal areas I create some thicker outlines. This is an easy way to create some battle damage. I will show this when I start painting the metal parts. The bright red really works well with the light skin tone. Now it's time to paint his shirt. For the base I will use Eusepti Bone. I will wash the shirt with some Agrax Earth Shade. Finally, I layer Flayed One Flesh on the areas of the shirt. Still leave the wash in the recesses. This is a very simple way to paint a white shirt. You could make it look more dirty by adding some brown into it or maybe another wash, but I think this looks very good with the other white colors. As a base, I use Lead Belcher. I will also paint little chips on the red areas. Take care that the outline of Wild Rider Red is still visible. This is a very simple way to make some battle damage. To have some variety, I like to paint several panels with Belthathar Gold. I either give the metal a wash with known oil or Agrax Earth Shade. Lastly, I'll give everything a highlight with Stormhost Silver. This is a tried and true method of painting metal. It's very easy and effective. In this step I'm going to use some contrast paints to finish up all the small details. For the brown letter I use Gorguntra Fur. The teeth and nails will be painted with Skeleton Horde. The black letter and boots will be painted with Black Templar. And here is a finished Orc Boy. This is an improved version of my old color scheme. It's easy to paint, which is great if you have to paint a 40 plus orc mob. I'm also curious how this color scheme will look on an orc biker. Thanks for watching and WOG!